Hello everyone, hello Andy here, thanks for joining me. So today is, I think we're on week four of the Altered Playing Card Challenge, which is a challenge I've set on my Facebook group called Create with Scrimpy Mummy. There'll be a link in the description box below. If you want to come and join the group, you're more than welcome. And we're altering playing cards every week until um, those that want to have done a full pack, otherwise you can just do one. So I'm doing four each week. As I say, you can just do one. If you don't have playing cards, you can use ATC size um, cardstock that you've cut, two and a half by three and a half. Um, so off we go. So this week's theme is Alice in Wonderland. Now the theme is open to interpretation. If you don't have access to a printer to print images for free from Pinterest or you don't have anything in your collection, specifically Alice, then you can go for Whimsical. You know, you could look for um, Whimsical mushrooms, caterpillars, to do with tea parties you know you can think round and about the theme is always a, a, well, it's a prompt so you know you you can think outside the box as it were I don't really like that term but you can think outside the box and um, adapt it so I've pre-gessoed my cards this one's got a little bit of pink on because I was just trying an ink colour to see if it fitted with this sheet that I've printed out now this is from Janie B Journals on Etsy um, she's got a um, a kit an Alice kit and it's all like purples it's nice um, if, I, if I can find if I can think on I'll leave a link below she, she also has a Facebook group as well um, so yeah, so I'm I'm gonna use I like it because she's got this like um mix, almost like a mixed media background, but it says me doing it. If I can just print it out and stick it on, it's quicker. And we've got the um diamond shapes, can't think of the word for it. There's a word for that pattern, can't think of it. With the, the like uh, burgundy colour over the top, and I do like it. So what I'm gonna do is just like I normally do, I'm just gonna rip some bits. I do want that that green to show, that kind of aqua mint green, it looks really nice <sighs> we might have it showing more on some than others so I'm just randomly ripping strips basically and then I do have to the side of me some cutouts from an Alice in Wonderland themed well Alice Tea Party themed um, oh I did have, where's the rest of it? oh some of it's gone on the floor Napkin. Looks like the dogs have been in here and <laughs> some of my pieces are on the floor. Just bear with me while I collect them. Sorry about that. <laughs> Obviously, a, 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 a waft of wind had come and, and blown them all over because they are on the napkins. You've got to be careful. Um, so, I've got um, four images. I've got some florals. I've got some uh, words that come from the napkin that are like Alice themed words. And I've got these words which have come from this like dark uh, purpley coloured I can't think of the name of the kit I'm ever so sorry but these words are in it um, so I've pinched those from there I've pre-gessoed so let's get cracking try and do a quicker video today so in some areas um, where I'm drying and stuff and sticking I'm going to be decoupaging the napkin on I'll just fast forward it um, I don't add music because I'm always worried that it's uh, going to be under copyright and uh, when that happens they will take your video down so I never add music so I am sorry if it's a bit boring when I fast forward <laughs> but it is what it is unfortunately um, alright so I'm just going to start and layer up I'll fast forward
Okay, so I've done all my sticking and gluing and um, yeah, I'm happy with that but it just needs, I don't know whether to make it darker or whether to make it lighter. I can't decide. <laughs> so whichever I decide, I'm going to use this stencil. I can't decide whether I want to make it darker with some more purple or whether I want to make it lighter with some texture paste. I can't decide. Um, I think I might do some of each. I don't see why not. <laughs> I can do what I want, can't I? So I'm using some. Uh, I'm using some water-based ink here, so I'll have to be careful. It's called Rich Razzleberry. Um, so the ones that I've got this on, I won't be able to spray anything else on them now, because otherwise it'll just run and it'll look rubbish. So what I'm going to do, this stencil needs cleaning. I'm going to find a bit that I like. There, I think. Go there. Find a bit that I like, kind of in the middle. And then, where did I just add that ink now? I don't know. About there. And I'm hoping that it will look nice against that printed background of that digital image that Journey B has created. And I'll just go softer there. So the look. Oh, I quite like that. That's nice. Might put some crackle paste up there. So I'll do both of the clocks with this. And then I'll do the other two with some white texture paste and then I've got a mixture of an eye. I'm using a sponge roller here because I don't have an air. I need to go get some baby sponges for stenciling. I've only got sea sponge and it's just a little bit too you know textured for stencil work. That looks nice. Oh mind you what am I on about? I've got my I keep forgetting I've got this little brush. <laughs> Get in now. I'll use this. Oh, what an Anna. Keep forgetting about it. Um, so let's do a little bit here. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Than the silly sponge. What better? Oh, I need to get myself a set of these. There we go. Right, so that's got those. Just may as well go around the edge with that colour. Well, I'm not mad keen on that as an edge, but we'll go with it for now. Okay, and then the others I'm going to do. That's, that's nicer technique, isn't it? That's a nicer technique. Let's do it there. Blend it in a bit. Okay, and then I'll edge it with something dark in a minute and put the sentiments on. And these two, we're going to have... Um, I'm going to put white modelling paste. So just bear with me while I clean off my stencil because it's rather mucky. I'm using this bag because I don't want uh, my glass mat to get mucky, if I'm honest, because I spent ages cleaning it. Let's just clean my stencil off. I'm trying not to use baby, baby wipes a lot in my crafting. I don't believe in using kitchen roll. Um, the reason being, I think kitchen roll is expensive. And uh, I am a little bit mindful um, of the, you know, the, I know it sounds daft, but the environment and baby wipes, really, you know, we can use old tea towels and wash them, we shouldn't be using baby wipes. So I'm trying not to. I'm not saying I never will, you know, I'm not a complete hypocrite, <laughs> just a little bit of one, but I'm really trying not to. Um, use them and use you know old rags that you can stick in the washing machine or in a bowl of water and just rinse out. End of day, it's just ink and paint. 
um, it doesn't matter and then it's not as much waste in the bin and we're not killing the dolphins and the fishes <laughs> it upsets me thinking about the dolphins and the fishes um, right where's my other here we go I've been trying to find more enviro environmentally friendly cleaning products as well because every time I clean anything I can just all I can think is that it's going in the sea and it, it for some reason really bothers me. Um, although it's, uh, you're paying. It's, it's wrong really because then you're paying. I don't know why I'm waffling about this when I'm meant to be doing these. But you're paying, you know, triple the cost, aren't you, when you go for an environmentally friendly option. Um, but there you go. It should be cheaper, really. But hey-ho. Right, I'll stop talking to absolute twaddle and get on with this. <laughs> Welcome to Amanda Land, where the subject can be anything. <laughs> oh dear. It's probably going to take on some of that pinky colour is this texture paste. Because my stamp's not totally clean. Um, but do you know what? We don't mind. It's fine. I'm just going to, I don't want it on the rabbit's face. I want to see him. Told right white rabbit. So we'll just wipe it off there. Okay, and just clean that off. Right. And a little bit, I've got pink in me. In my modelling paste tub, which is not very good, but hey ho, not to worry. It looks like everything that I'm doing modelling paste on uh, for the next uh, couple of weeks is going to have a bit of pinking, like it or not. Right, we'll have a little bit here. Mm. I don't think that's done it very well, so let's start again. I think I need a new one of these stencils. I think it's starting to get where the pattern's a bit warped because I've used it so much and it's not always, there we go, that's better, always giving it like a clear print, if you know what I mean. Not always. That could just be me that's rubbish with it, but. There we go. Right, so I'll just bob that to one side above that to one side now I'm just going to dry this off and then we're going to finish up with the sentiments so I'll do that sign so I know where to edit <laughs> I can see myself doing it and I know that that's where I need to stop fast forwarding um, right, so there's a trick for you if you if you do video editing. G give yourself a little hand sign. <laughs> a nice one. A nice one. Right, so I'm just having a look to see if I've got like a dark purple. I think I've got, I'm sure I've got aged mahogany somewhere, which is, is that it? Quite a deep, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be... The right kind of... I can't always remember what colour things come out. Let's just give it a little test on here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, so what am I using? I will use this. I can wash it. Um, I think this is really good for stenciling, but maybe for inking the edges. Maybe I need my tool. My tool, I'll use. I'll use this one. Just to get a more deeper depth of colour. A deeper depth, I'm saying the same thing twice there. Deeper colour. Yeah, that's better. I like the edges to be quite dark so you can see, obviously, the edge. There you go, that's better, isn't it? 
and it'll just spread a right little bit into that uh, modelling paste it'll kind of like seep in which is fine but it'll still stay quite white further round you know further towards the middle okay I'll do the same here so I've ended up with a dark vintage rather than a light and airy. I can't seem to do light and airy at the moment. I need to work on that. I seem to go for quite deep, dark, th um, you know, vintage colours. Maybe that's just who I am and what I'm about and I just have to go with it. Opulent. Dark. Colours seems to be what I'll do. I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to try and do, you know, just go with what whatever you come out with. That's what you go with. Um, right, so sentiments. Now, I've got these here, but I don't know if they're a little bit on the large side. Um, I don't know if they're going to go... Um, Or if I even want them now. Or if I even need sentiments. Mm. Let's have a look what happens if we trim them down somewhat. May well not go with any sentiments at all. And just leave them as they are. At the end of the day you don't have to have words on. It just fits your theme, doesn't it? Trying to ink with this idiot thumb is just... Every week I've got an injury. It's ridiculous. This week I've sliced my finger with a new chopping knife. And I knew uh, when I was doing it that it was going to happen. I just knew it. Uh, do I like that there? Hmm... We'll go for it. What have we got to lose? It's only a playing card. Doesn't matter. So this just says Alice. Obviously that's who this is. And we'll just bob it there. It would have looked better backed on a bit of black card. But at the end of the day these are just playing cards. We don't need to spend, you know, five months making them. Um, we just have fun with it. Let's have a look what we got here. Oh, I can hear my washing machine singing, so that's finished. It plays me a lovely little tune. I had to laugh uh, a couple of weeks ago. My husband was home during the day. It was over Christmas. He's very rarely home during the day because he has his own business and he's a complete workaholic. Um, and he was sat up straight on the sofa. He's like, what's that noise? What? I went, what noise? He went, I can hear like tinkling, like a little tune. I went, that's the washing machine. He went, oh, and where's that? I went, it's in the garage. Didn't even know where it was. He doesn't know how to work it. No idea. <laughs> but then I don't know how to, uh, you know, make things from steel and weld. That's his job. So <laughs> we all have a role to play, don't we? Bless him. Yeah, he's a bit spoiled, but then he spoils me, so it's all good. Right. Um... Let's have relax on here because that white rabbit is more um, irate and, and highly strung than I am. And I'm bad enough. <laughs> relax, white rabbit, relax. At this point, I don't care how long the video is. <laughs> I've, lo I've lost, I've lost the uh, that little bit of me that cares. So 
we have it up there or down here? Let's have it up there, relax. Because he is a bit he's a bit he's a bit much in tear white rabbit. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. I'm always late. Late for everything. Right, let's have uh, believe. You've got to have, you've got to believe or shall we have eat me. I think Eat Me is a more um, Alice in Wonderland theme, although it's not the right picture. Don't matter. So I best get thinking of a theme for next week. Um, we're getting through these quite quickly. They're lovely to make. It's I find it relaxing. I look forward to it. And you know the members on the group look forward to it. They're chomping at the bit. They were putting messages on the group wall by Saturday, Sunday, saying they couldn't wait for the next for the next prompt, which I give them on a Monday. Um, because there's people from all over the world in there, you know, there's people from Australia and everything, so they're having to wait extra long <laughs> for the prompt. <laughs> Let's have it somewhere where it's going to show up. I num don't care. I'm having it there. I'll have it. Have it in the middle. No, let's go in there. Let's go in there so it can show up. And there we go. That's mine done for this week. I could add some crystals on there. That might be nice, but. I think it's enough. I think you can carry on forever and a day. So those are mine for this week. I hope you've enjoyed um, watching. I hope it gives you some ideas. Uh, these are great because it's a good way to play with, um, you know, bits of mixed media. Um, obviously, it's very limited mixed media, but it's still mixed media. And, you know, you can then go away and think, well, that colour worked when I did that... Um, altered card and that texture paste looked nice there so then when if you wanted to do uh, you know a larger project it's like a little point of reference so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching don't forget to come and join the group um, I'll leave the link in the description box below bye for now